Hi everyone, this is my week 23 update. I'm 23 weeks and 3 days pregnant today. Yeah, 23 and a half weeks. Um, I had my first appointment with my new doctor this morning and it went awesome. Um, yeah, he's really nice. He's a lot more friendly than my old doctor and he seemed a lot more efficient and with it and competent and organized so I really appreciated that <laughs> um, everything went really well and also they have midwives working in his office so um, she saw me first and she was able to take my blood there that I needed to be uh, that I needed taken um, so I don't have to go to the hospital like I used to have to do to get my blood drawn every couple of months or every month or whatever um, for that. So that is good. Um, so I can do everything in one stop. It's like a one stop shop type office. So that's awesome. That's a lot easier when you have a, a toddler and you rely on other people to watch her during my appointments. So I don't have to have as many different appointments. So it went really well. Um, let's see, we talked about my grand echographie, my anatomy scan, and everything was fine with that. He went over the results and said, oh, I see it's a boy, and I was like, yep. And I don't know if it said on there that like we wanted to know, because some people, like a lot of people I think over here especially, don't want to know what it is. So if I didn't want to know, then I just would have automatically found out right then. <laughs> Um, but luckily I did find, I, I already knew, so. Um, I asked him about my blood thinners, how that would impact the delivery, if at all. And he said it wouldn't. I just, you know, if I feel like I'm having contractions, then obviously don't give myself a shot. But he said they even do surgery with people on um, the dosage that I'm on. So it's not a big deal, even if I did give it to myself and had the baby a couple hours later, it still wouldn't matter. I'm not going to bleed out or anything. <laughs> uh, so that was good. Um, we talked about Hanny Jean's delivery, um, that it was just, you know, a normal birth, how much she weighed, um, that I didn't have an epidural, and he was quite impressed that <laughs> she was 3.9 kilos and I didn't have an epidural, but I said there really was not time for an epidural. I was at I was at the hospital for an hour, and that was it. <laughs> um, before she was born, um, probably not even an hour. It was pretty close. So, and I was saying, I hope it goes like that. The next time, um, let's say, what else did we talk about? Um, we talked about oh my hernia. He checked it out and said he wasn't sure if the exercises would do it all on their own. He'd have to see after this baby was born. Um, I asked him if I need surgery because he said it still might need surgery. Even if you do the exercises, it still m might not be all the way fixed. Um, so I might need surgery and I said, and he said, first of all, it's not done while you're pregnant, which is, you know, different than what my other doctor told me, so I'm glad I switched, because she was like, oh, you can do it while you're pregnant, it's fine, and like, I don't want to have surgery when I'm pregnant, that's crazy, <laughs> like, especially that area, anyway, so obviously she didn't know a lot about it, um, which is kind of concerning, <laughs> um, so he said I could get it fixed after this baby's born, but then I said if I have another child, is it going to um, you know, rip or something, so he said he'd have to see how, like, extensive the repair would need to be, and I'd probably have to meet with the surgeon later, so I think I'm gonna, um, cancel my appointment, that's the end of August, uh, with a surgeon, because I don't need to see him until after the baby's born, and we know some more about it, because there's nothing that can be done right now, so there's no point in seeing him now if it's gonna change, and it's not even gonna be the same situation, so... Okay, I'm going to change that. Um, I think that's it. He did a quick scan, 
said the baby is still a boy. Um, and everything was fine. And he's um, transverse right now. So he's just laying sideways in there um, with head like up. He's laying like this. Yep. Feet down here, head up here. Um, arms <laughs> poking out this way. So he's not head down yet, but there's still time. It's like early still. So I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, my next appointment isn't until the beginning of August, so that's good. Um, they're going to be on holiday, and he, they said I could either see his partner or just wait till the beginning of, no, be beginning of September, sorry, not beginning of August, beginning of September. So I'm not going at all in August, which I don't mind because I don't, I'm all in, I'm relaxed, I'm not in favor of going to the doctor more than necessary, <laughs> so, um... Yeah. So I don't have to see him again to the beginning of September, which is good. Um, yeah, he was very friendly. He didn't ask me if I had any holiday plans. Like, my doctor wouldn't have never done that. Like, she barely even remembered who I was, so. If she did at all. <laughs> which I'm not convinced that she did, but. Yeah, he's definitely a lot more personable, and you want that in a doctor. It's a good thing. At least I do. Um, okay, that's basically it for my appointment. Uh, different symptoms I've been having. I've been having some back pain, and I don't know if it's from wearing the belly band. I should show that. I'll show it in the next video. I've done the exercises a couple times, and it seems to be helping. The hernia looked smaller after wearing the band and doing the exercises, but it's just hard to wear the band a lot because I notice it starts to hurt my back, and then I take it off. <laughs> because I can't function with my back hurting like that. I can't do everything around the house that I need to do, and it's just not fun for me. So I <laughs> I take it off in the afternoon at some point, and then I try to put it back on in the evening. And I don't sleep in it. You're supposed to sleep in it too, but I, there's no way I could sleep in it. It's not that comfortable. And I need my sleep. <laughs> so, I'll, um, I took before pictures so of my hernia, so I'll see how big of a difference it makes and do kind of like a review on the whole system if it works. Or even if it doesn't work, I'll just review it. Um, other symptoms, I haven't really had, it. oh I had heartburn last night, which caused me to drink a big glass of milk, which helped, and I had some Milano cookies with it, so that was a bonus. <laughs> um, I don't think I've had any, oh yeah, my back is breaking out a little bit, I'm getting like some acne, um, but that might be because it's getting hotter and I'm sweating more. I'm not sure. I think it's pregnancy related though. Um, oh yeah, and I'm not wearing any makeup today. This is what I look up, sans makeup. I've done videos without makeup on before too, but I did not have time this morning. I got up super early and I'm about to take a nap because Hanny Jean just went down for a nap. She's asleep already, so I'm going to take a nap quickly while she's asleep. I haven't had any cravings. Oh, I made mashed potatoes again for dinner last night as one of the sides. I was craving buttery mashed potatoes again. That's a big one with this pregnancy. Buttery mashed potatoes and fruit. I still eat a lot of fruit. Um, other than that, nothing really sounds good. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of still being like a picky eater. Okay, that's it. I'll show you the belly and we'll be done for week 23. sure it's getting too small. Did it again. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you for week 24. Bye.